Interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll relax. <laughs> I don't think you can even see me. So can you actually see me? Right. Uh, good evening. Uh, I'm going to relax on this one. Uh, this is a combination of two things that just mysteriously happened. Uh, one is, uh, are we getting ready for uh, meeting meeting aliens? <laughs> Sounds really weird. I, I was just watching this thing, uh, and they were saying, uh, is the government and NASA... And Ian Musk getting us ready to meet aliens. Um, now, for those who've watched me, no, they know that I actually like this sort of thing. It's quite a puzzling. So, I thought to myself, okay, what do I know? And is there, any, is there anything about this? And I thought, do you know, it's strange because several years ago, the Vatican said it was going to release their documents. You've heard me say this before. The Vatican said they were going to release their documents. And this was about two years ago. And we never heard out from them. They didn't They didn't do it. They didn't tell us. right? And then the next thing was that the Pentagon said that they were going to release their documents as well. And that never come about either. But since then, we have had all of these declassified UFO or UAP um videos come up um which is quite interesting so was that their version I, i'm not exactly sure and now today i've heard this new one that um our nasa and elon musk preparing to tell us about aliens well if you're an alien how do you make you you don't exactly walk down the street and say all right mate how are you you know, it's not simple. Apparently, seven steps to meeting aliens. That's how NASA worked it out. It's seven steps of meeting aliens. Uh, so I wonder what you know. What would you do? What would you say? You know, it's quite, it's quite, bar, quite balmy. Um, you, you know, you've got to get over the initial because I don't know if you've noticed, but there've been loads of UAPs spotted just lately. It's like a massive influx of them coming just lately. Um. And everyone's taking photographs and everything like that. You can't tell the... The problem is, there's so much out there now that's not... It's all, it's all uh, where people are getting better with cameras. They're doing their own illusions on cameras. So you, if we ever meet one for real, we're not going to know. We're going to... Nah. Yeah. No, def, definitely, definitely someone's been doing that, in, in doctoring that one. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a real hard one. But... There is a, an, a, a, there is ammunition behind this, I think, uh, because obviously everyone's going to the moon, Mars. That's all planned. Um, so that's quite interesting. There's been a lot just lately about near, near, near. You know, they're going on there. Hello, and uh, yes, there's been a near, near miss with us. Uh, 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 with a meteor today, you know, and things like this. So, are they getting us ready? Are they getting us ready for this? Um, me, myself, I think there's something there. I think something's gone off, and they're getting ready to let us, sort of like, prepare us for for something like this in the future. Uh, it's going to happen sooner or later, I, I believe that. Um, but, so, the, the question is, are you ready? Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's a nano nano shazbat sort of thing, you know. Uh, everyone's going to be. Uh, we don't. Uh, would you would you know what you we, we, what you were looking at if you saw an alien? I have no idea. So, uh, and then you've got to ask why. Well, why would you come and meet us? Because like we've been beam, beaming all these programs out into space for the last eighty years, and uh, it's not very flattering. Every time we meet an alien, we try to kill them, or they try to kill us. So. If you're an alien, you go, I'm not going there. It's a bit dodgy. Do you know what I mean? So, anyway. Right. So, that's the big big question of the day. Uh, I thought I'd cheer everyone up with that one. Everyone would go, what do you reckon, love? And she'd be going, the only alien you have seen is you late at night. You know. Uh, or, or when you wake up, when when, when fella rolls over in the morning, he's like, oh, yeah. Um, sometimes you think you've gone to bed with an alien. You know, it's, 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 it's kidnap your wife overnight. So, right. That's that one. So that's a quick question. 
keep your eyes open. If anyone gets any clues of what's going off, I don't know, but someone's going off. Right. Uh, and I'm not, right. News I'm going to do now because it's going to be really quick. Okay. Uh, massive immigration problems left, right, and centre all over today. Uh, Imran Khan got shot in the leg. Someone tried to kill him. Uh, that was in India, India or Pakistan, which, whichever. Uh, uh, I can't remember which. I think it's India he rules. Uh, anyway, so someone tried to take out Imran Khan and he was shot in the leg. He survived it. Um, not heard anything about our, our friends, the morons, uh, who spraying yellow paint all over the place, uh, uh, all different colours of paint all over the artworks and everything. Not heard anything of them today. Obviously, they've been busy all over the world. I've seen them in different places at the world, France and New Zealand. They're not having it at all. They're just dragging them off. So we can do without them. I, I think they're anti-democratic, to be quite honest, because they're going to get laws made to stop them from doing that. And then when people do want to literally do a demonstration uh, for wages or something like that, they, they're going to use those laws against them. So it's not very good. Anyway, moving straight on, boom. Um, there's been a couple of guys being sent down today. Um, I've just found out about this last couple of hours uh, for... Um, tampering with youngsters and they are from the uh, uh, some one of these immigration centers down south uh, so they're coming by the boat and another one was found that he was a he was an out and out murderer uh, and uh, that's another one that's come by the boat so uh, the numbers are, are racking up now where they've got to do something right my at this point to be quite honest for the safety of the uk residents i think it's about time we call in the armed forces uh, and let no one go onto those beaches not you don't want to be in land on the beaches. Um, I think it's about time we need to do that. So um, they were saying it's a southwesterly wind and that's going to keep them off this week. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Uh, so I think it's about time we get the army involved and the navy and actually stop people landing on the beaches uh, until they actually know who they are. It's as simple as that. Um, uh, I was speaking today uh, to a couple of friends uh, and relations around around the country to see how many of these these uh, they were saying that in in London they have uh, American sweet shops are taken off and apparently they're money laundering those who've been used for money laundering a bit like they're saying that the Turkish barbers are money laundering for other drug gangs well if you know you, you don't make an, an assumption unless you've got evidence um, and if everyone's saying that then get them raided simple as that get them raided and uh, if you there should be a rule that if you come to this country and you commit a crime and you've come from another country that you forfeit all all rights to this country completely at that point you instant either instant deportation for smaller crimes jail then deportation but if you jail them we've got to pay for them so this is good this is going to have a knock-on effect i believe because what's going to happen is i'm sorry to bore you um, but I do, I do see it and I think what's going to happen when British criminals start fighting the other continental criminals you always get the public caught in the crossfire we don't need that we need it stopping now before it gets to that point alright so that's all I'm going to say on that one for tonight uh, th that, that's the news I've given quick bits of news there uh, we're going to find out about COP20 sooner or later when they've all gone across there for the jollies uh, and, and done that uh, so we'll find out. Um, I did listen to uh, Mr. Farage earlier on. He was saying about what will happen if you start putting these... I, I don't think he was said it. It was somebody else. Somebody else was saying about if you start putting people uh, over to, like, in, in next to famous footballers and things like that, they're going to be happy. No, they're not going to be happy. And they wouldn't bother anyway. They'd just sell their ass and move somewhere else. It's us poor because we always get it in the neck. So... Um, but to be quite honest, with so many things going on, and today as well, the interest rates have gone up. So if you've you've got a mortgage on house, you've got to find another three to five thousand pounds next year, and all on top of everything else. So we've been royally rumbled this year. We've been well, well and truly stuffed. Um, so to be quite honest, there's not going to be anything good going on. Uh, it's two days now until bonfire night. As I said, I think I think there's going to be trouble on bonfire night anyway. Uh, please be careful for, um, I'm going to put it in now uh, before anyone says anything. Bonfire night, please. Um, if you're using fireworks, you can get these fireworks that don't make the bang anymore. They do the flash of light. 
Uh, if you're going to have them, try to get those if you can, because it's not very nice for the dogs and everything like that, and pets and everything like that. Some some get really really quite scared about it. So, uh, for so for pet side of it, you know, see if you can get the anti bang fireworks if you're going to have fireworks. Uh, probably best idea is go to one of the big uh, uh, organised firework displays, uh, and then, as I say, get get the kid get the kids some uh, toffee apples instead of sparklers because there's too many kids get burned with sparklers quite honest i know i said to one of my friends today about this and i said the thing about bonfires and everything like that there is always prats at bonfires uh and i me being me i'm gonna put my hand up and say yeah i was a prat when i was a young kid yeah we like to muck about with bonfire with, with, with fireworks um and there's always somebody gets hurt and burnt yeah so you can't win uh i, I wouldn't like to everyone not to be able to have their own but then there's always people get burned there's always bonfires catch fire to cars and all sorts of things so i hope everyone has a safe and enjoyable bonfire night uh this year uh, and remember what it's about as well it's not just about fireworks it's about the history of bonfire night it's about somebody trying to blow up the Houses of Parliament because they didn't like what the Houses of Parliament were doing. <laughs> right, so uh, all I can say is that for the, all the MPs, please remember that. It's, it's, it's there. That's why we celebrate it every year, to, rem, to, make, to remind you that you are there to serve us. We pay you to do a job. You're there to safeguard us. You're not doing a very good job. So pull your finger out. Stop sitting opposite each other, just having a go at each other for the sake of having a go. It's not helping. People are getting fed up and listening to you. You're like two Karens on the side of the street. Stop it. Work together. You need to start working together to get this country going. Yeah, We need to get back on our feet. So we're not going to just keep paying the bills, paying the bills until we're homeless on the street. Because if you have a million people homeless on the street, you've got massive problems. I'll tell you what, forget your job because you won't be an MP. Uh, already, I will say this for the, for the Tories, I don't care how many times you're going to keep swapping your Prime Ministers over. You already know the end outcome, that you're going to be wiped out So at the next election. Because you're not doing what you were empowered to do. Uh, and, and I'm sorry, but Rich Sunak, you were not voted in into power uh, by anybody. I can get more people down a local pub to vote me than you had voted you in. So that's not democratic. And I'll keep saying that till I'm blue in the face. It's not undemocratic. You know it is. You need to have an election. Right. That's all for tonight. Hope you have a lovely night. Take it easy. And remember, have a lovely bonfire night. Press subscribe. Press what you want. Uh, hopefully we'll have some cheerier news, news later on uh, tomorrow. All right, take it easy. Night-night. Ta-da.